Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I would just like to give a little quick review slash test of the new Ofra X Steph Toms, who is a beauty YouTuber, highlighter, milk and cookies. Now Ofra Cosmetics, well, I don't know about all their products, pretty sure they are vegan and cruelty free, but this product definitely is vegan and cruelty free. I did check. As you can see, I haven't set my foundation yet. I just thought, why not? So, this is the Milk and Cookies palette. It smells delicious. Mmm, it smells really good. So, there's one side that's lighter, one side that's a little bit darker. You can tell that I'm not actually... <laughs> I just stick to drama content. My hands are massive. And then we'll do one finger of them both. Mix together and then we'll... Nice, isn't it? So, I'm just putting some... I'm using the light side because... Brow bone. Also... A little bit. Put it on the temples. So Steph is actually a YouTuber that I like. I found her channel when she did a review of the Conspiracy Palettes by favourites of the channel, Chef Chefry, Chefry, Jeffrey and Shane. And put some. Here. A little bit there. And what I liked about her review was she was one of the few people that didn't bullshit about it. She said, oh, I'm not impressed with this. It's very patchy, etc., etc." So I'm going to set that all in place with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Whilst that's drying, I'm gonna put some mascara on. I like to do mascara after I've done this because I feel that if I do mascara first and then this, sometimes it can run. So that's how it looks. I think it's definitely bright enough. I shall be using this. I haven't been paid or sponsored to do this. <laughs> I don't read everything. Steph would care enough to chuck me 20 quid so I could do this. Never even spoken to her before. But I just, I like bright highlighter. I think this is a very nice product. It smells really good. It's 27 pounds on Beauty Bay. And for the cost, you'll probably get quite a lot of product. It says here on the back, 10 grams, probably. I don't know, I'm not very good at doing this, but I don't know about you guys, but it takes me a while to get through highlighters anyway. So for the cost of it, I don't know what I was saying before the doorbell went because a man just fixed my hob. Just in case you were wondering how it's going at... What do people say? Del Casa... <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't look at me that way. I could say it in Japanese. Alizi no ieni. But anything else, I'm just plain ignorant. So, I don't know what I was saying. Um... I think it's 10 grams, 27 pounds. I haven't bought anything from Overcosmetics before. I can't even fucking talk now, Jesus. Having to talk to someone about my hop has drained me. I've not bought anything from Overcosmetics before, but I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure I saw a few other products and it seems to be that that's the price range of Overcosmetics. So not the cheapest highlighter, but very pretty. And I think uh, with a lot of highlighters, they tend to be more of an investment than anything because you can get it through foundation kind of quickly if you're wearing it every day but highlighters for me tend to last a lot longer anyway and this is definitely going to be my highlighter of choice until it runs out and then we'll just see <laughs> so much for loyalty coming from me but yes not sure why i did this video just thought i would share something and not complain about stuff for once 
normal scheduling shall resume shortly. Anyway, yeah, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like, comment, subscribe. I make new videos whenever I feel like it. Follow me on Instagram at Elise Yeezy. Steph Toms, good beauty YouTuber. I think I watch her stuff. I like her. If that accounts for anything, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm pretty sure no one asked. But there you go. See you guys next time. Bye.